Hey, good morning, y'all. Get to tell you again, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. I've been talking to you about no faith, little faith, great faith, mountain moving faith. The first two we talked about was no faith. Jesus said, because they were moved by fear, why is it that you have no faith? So watch this. Fear, which is a force of the enemy, comes in, you get scared, you get scared, you get afraid. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Dear Lord, what am I going to do if this doesn't work? That will cause you to have no faith. Like I told you yesterday, faith and fear cannot mix. You're either going to be in one or the other. Let me read two things to you out of um, one. Well, they're both in Matthew. Matthew chapter 6, Jesus said, Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? So not believing God for everything, Jesus referred to that as little faith. And then let me turn over here in Matthew chapter 14. When Peter was walking on the water, doing something supernatural with Jesus, he got out there on the water. And when he got out there on the water, he began to consider the waves. So watch. Big difference in no faith at all. You're not going to get nothing from God. And little faith, you might get a little bit. If you get your eyes off of the word and consider the circumstances, Jesus referred to that as little faith. See, Peter, looking at the winds and the waves, beginning to sink. And Jesus said, wherefore didst thou doubt? So get this. Fear causes no faith, but doubt causes little faith. Let me go over here to the book of James because it's so powerful. I want to get this. You've got to get doubt out of your life so that you can receive from God. It says in James chapter 1 that when you come to God, he said, ask in faith nothing wavering. I want to read that. Let me see if I can find it here. He said, uh, when you come to God, let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a, a man that's driven uh, a boat is driven by the winds and the waves. And he says, let that not, not, not that man think he'll receive anything from the Lord. Wavering, <clears throat> considering the circumstances. Okay, I got bills that are due. I'm talking about you. You got bills that are due and you believe in God. I mean, you believe in God, not, you're not writing an appeal letter. You're not looking at your paycheck, which is not nearly enough to do what you want to do. And so you're not looking at all that stuff. You believe in God. Well, if you start looking around like, where's it going to come from? Maybe I ought to get a part-time job. You know, I'm already working two jobs, but I couldn't give up two more hours of sleep and work some more. Well, what if I do this or what if I do that? What that is is wavering. You're trying to figure out, excuse me, you're trying to figure out how to do it or how God's going to do it. You're not really standing on the Word, so you're wavering. And the Bible says you won't receive anything from God. Now, you might get the other job, and you might work a little harder to get that job done or to get all that stuff done, but because you're wavering, you're not going to receive anything from God. Now, no faith is, is you get into that by fear. Fear just, you know, takes everything away. But little faith is by looking at what am I going to do now? How am I going to get this done? How am I going to get this paid? Dear Lord, what am I going to do? That will cause you to be in, in little faith instead of great faith. And I want some of that great faith. So let me go to that again. Peter, wherefore didst thou doubt? Getting your eyes off of the word. Now I'm looking at the camera, okay? Looking at the camera, I can't consider <laughs> those squirrels over there. Uh, Pat and I took a day or two off for camping out. And, and right over there, a couple of squirrels running up and down the tree. To look at them, I got to look away from the camera. So to look at my bills and how am I going to pay them, I got to look away from the word that says my God supplies all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Watch. To look at my body. Whoop. Oh, I feel bad. Don't you feel that? You, yep. Don't you feel that? Mm. Yeah, boy, you feel bad. Don't. Whoop, whoop. If I begin to consider that, then what I've done is I've taken my eyes off of the word that says, by his stripes ye were healed, and he sent his word and healed you. And that causes me to have little faith. And what caused that was doubt because I began to consider all the other stuff. So what you got to do is keep your eyes off of the other stuff and on to the Word, because the Word is the only thing that's going to put you on it. Well, I'm going to get out of here today. No faith is caused by fear. Little faith 
is caused by doubt. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about strong faith and how to have it. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day, hey, Jesus is Lord, and thank God the Word works.